Fridays. Fridays. Eve, and we're here today to talk to you about money, marriage, and sleep. As we have sleep, sleep science coach and brain fitness coach talk with Tori with us today. We're going to spend an hour with you with two fun giveaways. Of Ooh. course, our great guest talk with Tori, and we're going to also have our plant-based treat. My favorite part. In one hour so if you are a person that wants to improve your relationships your health your business and your wealth this is an episode for you as we talk about money marriage and sleep the mm. importance of brain fitness and sleep science we talk with tori but we can't start unless till we thank our sponsors oh we have sponsors always thank you to our sponsors we are in deep gratitude to our sponsors and we love to thank them every episode <sighs> Make the announcement, Corey. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for in part by the following sponsors. Sponsors! All right, guys, all I got to do is hit the play and you'll hear who the reigning champs are. These folks come back every single week. Here they are. Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Thank you for choosing us, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Absolutely. sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Thank you for choosing us, Dr. Linda. New sponsor, Benita, 16. <laughs> thanks, Benita. Benita, thank you. <laughs> you or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. Awesome, All awesome, right. awesome, it's awesome. It's Thursday. We're here for you every hump day. Bang, bang to Friday. Wait, what you doing? Why are you all hyped up like that? Yeah. Bang, bang. I got to get. I gotta <laughs> give a bang for every day that we get closer to the weekend. But so. you were kind of loud and extra. Well, I mean, shoot. You know, when I bang, I bang. I bang, I bang, <laughs> bang, bang. It's hump day to Friday. Every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, yeah? 11.15 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. So let's go, let's <laughs> go, let's start the show with our real talk with Ntabi Intro. All right. It's another episode of a blind guy. It's white. It's white. Hey everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. His wife, Laquita Marie. Together we let you enter our life live every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. And we are here to be what K Business Podcast has declared us to be. <laughs> He's dubbed us as a self-improvement resource library where we help you to by providing information that can help you change your narrative of what you think it means to be normal when it comes to your health, your business, and your wealth. Yes. And we do that in one hour where we introduce one women. hour where we bang bang, according to David Hunt. Now you got people out there saying that, Corey. Good grief. Man. One hour, one hour where we bang bang. Bang it out. No, let's just get into <laughs> with, today's topics. With first, we start off with our great intro, our introduction. Then we go into our first place pony drawing. Then we have our fabulous guest to interview, and we end with our plant based treat mm -hmm. all in mm -hmm. one hour. My Speaking of part. special guests, we gotta say good morning all the way deep in the heart of Texas. It is none other than our special guest, certified brain fitness coach and sleep science coach. Talk with Tori. Talk with Tori. You know what? I'm going to put this up here so he can come into this. Hey, good morning. Hello. Hey. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, Corey, Zan the man put up there. You can't fire me. Bang, bang. Laugh out loud. You can't, <laughs> you can't, can't fire, fire me, me shirt. shirt. Yep, yep. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Yeah, Zan talk the man is in the house. Everybody's in the house. I see. Everybody, yeah, right? We Talk even got Mr. Uh, Tamaya 89 in here, GT Jr. all the way from oh, yeah. the comments. Black but, Tropical. Yeah, oh, guess, hey, Wally. Show you. Hey, Wally. <laughs> show you. <laughs> now, I got to ask you to say this for us, uh, 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 um, Talk with Tori. We got to ask you to say this before we get started. Yes, because we're people, not starting yet. Stop talking to us, G Mama Grows. We're when, not talking back anymore. When people, okay, hey, Crypto League. When people come into our <laughs> broadcast, what should they do? What should they do? Yeah, yes. with the like button. Oh, lay hands <laughs> on the like button. Y'all, y'all heard it yourself. And talk with Tori. Lay hands on the like button. All right, Linecrest, we know you lay out there. Lay hands on the, the like button. <laughs> That's it. Lay hands on the like button. Linecrest is out in the muddy hole, but lay hands on the like button from out there in the park, okay? 
Now, talk, <laughs> so you're here today to talk with us about the importance of brain fitness, especially when it comes to sleep science and understanding the importance of sleep and how it affects our relationships with our business, our, our marriage relationships, our friendship relationships, any type of relationship that we have is affected by the, our brain fitness and by uh, the sleep that we get that impacts our brain fitness. You're here to talk about that. So um, are you a grower, by the way, because you're growing people out here. You know, Tasha Oshi grows. Her and G Mama grows are in uh, cahoots. The Grows Alliance is in the house. Right. Oh, yeah. but, oh, I'm sorry, but Sean Bright said Grand Rising. So, hey, Sean Bright. Will we talk to you later? Okay, we're going to talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me ask you this. Are you, what are you growing out here? We know Crypto Lead is out there growing us some finances and all of that good stuff. But are you a grower of people? Are you a grower of, um, you know, people's? sleep cycles are you a grower of people's success because you're a graphic designer you're not just like a regular person we thought you were a regular like cassandra dominic he's she's a winner a, he's not just a graphic designer he's a videographer he's a photographer right. he's a, he does t-shirt design vinyl cutting vinyl printing a voiceover artist voice like philip waldo jr yes. yeah he is a man of many talents so okay so you know g albert is a tech guy you do all of this stuff so I mean, he's like, a, he's like a human Voltron. Right. <laughs> so would you say that you're a grower of people? Like, what, what? how would you describe yourself in one short sentence? Is there a short sentence? Go ahead. A grower of uh, a grower of success uh, ah. for people, a grower of success for people and to show people that there is uh, hope and and everything and just get your brain and get that sleep together. You know, mm. and everything else will fall in line. This is wonderful. Yeah, this is and you know, he's good. a so he's a sort of when he says get your get your sleep and get your brain together, yes. is that right. is that what you said? Yes, that's, that's right. Saying. Because and, he's a brain fitness coach, right? Yep. Right, right. Certified. Brain. Certified, right. So Shine Bright, if she needs help, G Albert needs help, first of all. We know G Albert needs help. Um if Shine Bright needs help, talk she Tori. Can, I got a question for you. What do you do? Crazy wives. Crazy wives. We could hear you, Corey. Oh, I, I thought I was quiet enough that I couldn't be heard. I don't you know want to get in trouble. I think my wife is in the comments too. Oh, like, okay. please. Exactly. See, I don't want to get in no trouble. Look, I didn't want to be married for 23 bring, years I now. I don't I don't want to. How many years? 23 years we've been oh, married. Oh, Miss Linda, 23 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have an amazing story because oh, yeah. we're excited to hear about it today. Look, we got our sponsors in here. JBWR, they're listening. Vanessa Buck, Buck, Buckner. Buck, 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 Buck. I mean, my Renaissance grandma. All of these folks are here just for you today. So, so we're supposed to just be saying hello, okay? So, so yeah, talk with Tori. We're going to put you back into the green room. Right, because so Trash Can Waves is in here, so we can put you in the green room so and they you can, go. You can enjoy some computerized cashews and some <laughs> and some, vir <laughs> some, some virtual virtual veggie dip to go along with it. How about that? That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. All I, right. I didn't well, know I was the pepper uh, mint candy keeper. Uh, Philip said I'm the pepper mint candy keeper also. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty you, good so, i like that <laughs> look with philip waldo jr you never know what he's about to say right so let's see right. um i know just wit is in here before the billies as well but you said oh vanita 16 another sponsor you said that uh philip waldo jr what did he say to yeah, you peppermint candy keeper peppermint candy keeper oh church, church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> way more than just a peppermint candy keeper right way more than just that so pass so i mean i can call you pass Talk with Tori. Yeah. I'm going to get you to say it one more time. What should the people do to the like button? Lay hands on the like button. Awesome. I can, awesome. I can I sing it, it too if you want me to. <laughs> Lay hands on the like button. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I should have quit my day job. <laughs> you know what? Well, Zan the man told us y'all better not sleep on Pastor Tori. So you do everything. Oh, no. wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Nice pun. Nice pun, Nice pun. Okay, we are just supposed to be saying hello. We're going to say goodbye for now. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. We'll talk with Tori. All right. All right, man. This is going to be good today, yeah. Corey. Hey, hey, this broadcast is powered by StreamYard and by viewer support from members like you. You, you can remember to be part of the Vine Guys Like Their Life home team by doing what Talk with Tori said lay hands on the like button. 
bum rush the buttons. You know what to do, guys. Yes. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it lets other people know that you like this information. And you'll be the card catalog for the self-improvement resource library that we are and help people find information that they need. Absolutely. Thumbs up. Oh, wait, I got to get my shine together. While I do that, you guys, just look at the ticker scrolling. That way you'll know exactly where to go. And Corey, I'm just going to powder my face because, you know, and look, this ain't even a powder, a face powder. This is a scrubby. This is a little scrubby that her aunt created. It's a rainbow colored, and this is green. Oh, Andale man. Homestead. It's a. Uh, she. I didn't even know you could knit a what dishcloth. Is, What's this? What's this? Is it something I would love? A new thong, 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 thong. That little Timmy, you know what? <laughs> Give this to me, Andale. You know, Andale. I apologize. <laughs> Let me move that out of the scene, guys. Corey, talk to them about buy me a coffee while I put my cream on so I can shine when I give a thumbs up. Buy me a coffee. She gonna say. Oh, 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 I gotta uh, do my part. I guess I better not show them the coffee page. What you doing? And then I'm gonna say, girl, you know what I'm doing. You gonna stir it like coffee. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> so, but G Mama Grows and Tasha Oshi Grows, all the Oshi Grows is out there and everybody out there. When you buy us a coffee, you are not just supporting this broadcast. You are supporting Atum Pond Edutainment Incorporated, the parent company of BlindGuysWifeTheLife.com. What do we do? We put on, we use world music, folklore, and dance, as well as the media arm, Blind Guys Wife Their Life, to bring information in an entertaining fashion. Like, for example, on February 26th, oh, yes. couple, just a couple of weeks from now, we are going to have Access Virginia come and make the, our next production accessible to people who are vision impaired by doing audio descriptive services. As now, remember, all... guys, we were we had her on the show last week, uh, one of the founders of Access Virginia. Yes. And as you all know, I am blind. I cannot see. I don't put up many blinds, but I, I have not been to see for a long <laughs> His time. eyes yet. don't My work. eyes don't work. And I've used Access Virginia's audio description services, and it makes for a great experience for not just me at a, at a live show, but also my family and friends who attend, because I get to experience everything in full, and they get to experience it without having to dig there to me what's going on. So help us to continue to make the arts accessible by buying us a coffee. That's going to help Access Virginia provide audio description services to those who are vision impaired at our productions. Now, of course, we do have here on the screen the Buy Me a Coffee link. I do. Click, 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 click. <laughs> click the link, 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 link. <laughs> I did open up the widget I, by clicking that little green coffee cup right down there in the corner. So when you click that green coffee cup, you can choose one, three, five, maybe even 25 coffees because Corey has been blind over 25 years now. Leave your name, say something nice, see how you're supporting our nonprofit organization and see some of the other people who have purchased coffees as well. Thank you, JBWR. He has purchased way more coffees. We appreciate your support. Corey, the folks in the chat, we got Gail at night dropping that link so people know how to do it, where to do it. And just in case you guys are wondering, like, man, are they hoaxing us? Is this real? No, just use Google. It's right there. Anansi's Icky Sticky Web of Tricks presented by Atumpan Dance Theater. So I'll take her comment down so you can see for yourself. February 26th, Saturday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Affordable tickets. However, the services to bring in the access for genius ac audio description right that's a whole nother expense right so you have different things that you're paying for but guys we do appreciate your support getting these things paid for so oh zan says love is blind too oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> guys we sure do you have an email address we'll make sure we pop that up on the screen for you my aunt because it's admin at blindguyhiswife.com and we'll drop it into the chat for you as well. Make sure you can check out our fabulous merch line through Pressing So, the Blamazon, the Black Amazon, these YouTube streets. Mm. Get your home team jerseys. All right there on our home page. So guys, when and you scroll you past the and coffee. Dry and have eczema, go on and get some Violet Botanical Skin Care. <laughs> right, do your thing. So that means once you scroll past the coffees, you'll see how you can become a sponsor. You can find out where to shop. Press and sew. Get your shirts. Uh, of course, your gear. Corey's waiting on a few new shirts. Meanwhile, he thinks I can't fire him. Don't believe the hype. Click, scroll on down to Violet Botanical Skin Care. I take firing because now I can get unemployment. <laughs> Spousal unemployment. <laughs> 
So guys, of course, when you go to Violet Botanical Skincare, the discount is built in. Click the red button. That takes you directly to the website to shop and it'll keep you soft and supple. Now, of course, currently I am wearing something from Nancy Annette. That's why I'm looking so glee, uh, shiny and everything. Our Violet Botanical Skincare is back in another room. I'll just say yeah. another room. By so, the butter right by the bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't bang, know why. Bang. Click, 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 click. You know what, David Hunt, uh, anyway. Sneak peek at the plant-based tree. Yes, David Hunt is a plant-based person, sort of. And so this is just for you, David Hunt. There is no okra in our plant-based treat today, but we're always trying to get you guys to eat more fruits and vegetables at every single meal. We're not vegetarians. We are not fruit hoodlums. We're not the plate popo. We just want you to have free of fiber, <laughs> antioxidants, and vitamins to help you to have a fit brain and get good sleep at night. Yes, and so we chose this particular recipe for today because our guest, Talk With Tori, talks a lot about using nuts for brain fitness. So they're in this recipe. I'll give you a sneak peek. It's one of my favorites. Magical milkshakes. This is the way to make a shake. Oh, That's all right. we can give you is a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat. Roll call. Time to cannonball into the comments. <clears throat> and while we do that, make sure you hashtag the home team. Hashtag the home team to enter into the first place pony derby. Hashtag the home team to enter the first place pony derby for bragging rights. Wally, you ain't going to win neither. You will not win. See, okra, that's nasty. See what I'm saying? Him and David Hunt bringing problems to the place. Man, let me tell you something, Wally. We're going to get you and David Hunt on board, but you ain't winning today. All mm -hmm. right. So, hey, Inya, good to see you today. Inya, now you, you? Hello. You guys know I do read the comments because Corey can't see. I don't read all of them, but I try to get in quite a bit of them. So make sure you guys, while we're going through the comments, um, you put in what Zan the man put in. Hashtag, Hashtag the, the home, home team. team. Don't pay Wally no mind to my plate popo, veget vigilante, fruit hoodlum. Mm -hmm. We are none of that. Well, anyway, we're, we're none of that. I'm just going to deny it all. Okay. Because of course, in our home with our kids, we kind of make them you know, finish certain things. Um, but that's just so that we don't waste money on food. So pay Wally no mind, um, you know, eat your fruits and vegetables and be like lavender for luck. You know, she's saying, lavender for luck. right, because she's saying she has her hands in the dirt, but she's listening. Great place to be out there in the garden growing things. Thank you so much from Canada. She stole my thunder. Hey, hey she stole my thunder. She's saying, hope everyone is doing well today. Bonjour, mon ami. Yes, yeah, so far, one of the best editors we know. Uh, let's go and see who was first, though. Now, you know, Trash Can Waves was first in the comments. Trash Can Waves all the way out there in Michigan. So this means that everybody can't be in first place. Trash Can Waves is here, right? But you can get first place pony bragging rights by putting hashtag the home team into the comments. And let me tell y'all something about Trash Can Waves. He's not only a content creator. He is not only leveling up things. He has a second channel. He's doing all the things. And he's a music person because he's out there in uh what what's the area um michigan out there detroit motown that's what i was gonna Motor say City. like yeah you you gotta give it the accolades that it deserves so uh trash can waves you know so we'll play some music on his behalf my uh my daughter's in high school and she talks about different things going on i always check for the boys but you know i already got my line together <laughs> when they come knocking the door with my coat back i'm your huckleberry but you know they said <laughs> <laughs> Right. She's gonna be pushing up some days as you try to mess with my daughter. You know what? <laughs> so um hopefully you guys can hear the music okay. And if you can, just let us know if you like it, if it's good for you, and all of that kind of stuff. Black Tropical. Hey, Black Tropical down in Georgia. Black Tropical, new, the newest member of the YouTube partnership Part program. program. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And of course, we got one of our sponsors, JBWR, in their hashtag the home team. JBW. You are yes, Linda Smith. All right, so she keeping uh, she keeping talk with Tori in line, right? Hey, hey, Miss Linda, <laughs> how you doing? Good, good, good. So, of course, Black Tropical is saying hey to all well, the Linda, how, how do you have to lay hands on Pastor Tori? You know what? <laughs> 
Um, Black Tropical has a party tomorrow night. They have a live stream tomorrow night, 7 p.m. on Black Tropical Homestead's channel. It's their celebration stream. So we'll be there celebrating with them on the screen as well. So La Tasha laugh on wet willies and then going to the park <laughs> to get on the swing after that. Swing low. You know okay. what? <laughs> Click. Tasha, oh, she grows. GT Mama Junior. Tasha has a garden. Oh, oh she, oh, she grows. grows. And G, uh, and she's in Maryland. And then G, GT Junior. In Alaska. Oh, my goodness. So we got folks in the cold regions, folks in the warm regions. My aunt speaks. I can't remember your region or G. Albert, but y'all know I, I ignore G. Albert. We always fighting back and forth in the comments. We were even fighting on David Hunt show, always. Yeah. <laughs> Every morning at 6. Well, Every... G, G. Albert straight thug. He, he's in Rikers. He's streaming. <laughs> he, he, he joined us from Rikers Island today. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, anyway, he's the only people. He's the only person still living on Alcatraz right now. That's that's how much. That's how thuggish G. Alvin. He's still the Alcatraz. He does been closed for years. Right, right. But you know, G. Mama grows. Uh, that's another thug. If y'all need a thug grandma in your life, get G. Mama grows. Mama She's grows. over on Instagram for the most part. But we love seeing her here. She took a minute and Phil said, "All right, G. Mama, you gotta get that baby oil." She said, "I don't need no baby oil." <laughs> Right. Audrey Willis. Hey, hey good morning Audrey to you Willis. as well. So happy to have you. Hang out. Have a good time. Don't mind the fights in the chat because um, Wally, yeah, it's all love. And Wally, his other channel is Well Talk Productions. He says, hey, well, my job, y'all, just bring the food and the great guests. So all look, right. he is always ready. And Philip Waldo Jr., make sure if you're driving, you're only listening or you're using the talk to speech. Um, I think you can do that instead of, cause I use it a lot, instead of typing it in, yeah, mm -hmm. just hit the microphone. So, um, you know, Lion Crest is out Ooh. there doing his thing. Yes, doing irrigation, but he's also an amazing farmer, amazing content creator. The Mufasa of mangoes, the Simba of sweet potatoes, the Scar of scallions, and the Ibu Bay of irrigation. Mm, don't give them all the secrets to our show mm -hmm. when you say Ibu Bay. Cassandra Dominic has won so many times with the first place pony, guys. So make sure you're putting in. She probably had the track right now again, betting on the next horse to run. So she has so much good luck here. I know. She likes you, Mama Grows, in cahoots with somebody. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, just do it before the billions everybody's chat, uh, in here putting in their hashtag the home team i say we bring in our guest for the day because we even got cars car he not only likes this he says we need a love button here because right. he loves the content good grief i just i just clicked on it and instead i clicked on uh david hunt saying lay hands on the like button ka -chow! <laughs> <laughs> let me find cars cars comment because we were in a, a chat this morning hanging out looking at uh somebody cooked jollof rice oh that's right david hunt has got free form friday tomorrow right yes oh, last year. he does oh raquel is here from namibia hey, namibia namibia in the house yes yeah, she's also saying lay hands on the like button so this is great corey we have so david many hunt's gonna dress up like van halen tomorrow and uh, he's gonna actually you know sing some and sing some of their, their hits david hunt doing all of that yep Okay. All right. Cars, car. Be there for David Hunt tomorrow, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see something like that. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Zan. The peppermint. Thon, 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 thon. Hey, <laughs> there you go, Zan. <laughs> oh, Fresh my breath speaks for itself. <laughs> I know, right? And you know I was showing off Black Tropical because I did win these things from Andale, but I only won twice. Not, not yet three times in a row, but you know what I mean? Oh, and you guys, let me tell you something. These content creators are something else. They are not just now. Black Tropical, you were the first person that sent us something in the mail with stickers and things like that. But Ann Dale not only sent us things, two thank you cards, handwritten guys. I'm going to keep it back here so y'all can't see the message, but yeah, you can see the message. Handwritten messages. You can see it. As well as, I think I just dropped the sticker out of the other one. Handwritten name on the card. Oh, pretty handwriting. And I just dropped her sticker. Dear oh. Corey, let me know how the peppermint thongs take. Oh, no, you know, you fine. know what? <laughs> and I think this is the one where she even underlined the scripture. I thank God for you. So you know, <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself for it. The land of plenty. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> there it is. So, and Dale, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. We got to bring Pastor Tori in here. Talk Come on, with talk with Tori. Tori. We're going to bring him in so we can get started. He's going to help us with first place pony drawing. Come on in. Hello. Welcome. How All are you? All right. 
I, I was eating on those uh, computerized cashews. They tasted real good. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for you that. Welcome. Well, you know, this is giving folks time to put in hashtag the home team. So this is great. Um, we also, we ignoring Wally. I know Wally, I know you was first, but I don't know what happened here. So I don't know. But we also gave time for people like uncle Stu, the old man on the hey, block hey uncle Stu, the old man on the block yes he has given a super chat he says i knew i heard someone talking about new york rikers island is closed <laughs> <laughs> but he said he's got his money in so hook it up for it so you got to make sure he wins the first place uh, pony. gotcha uncle Stu. gotcha uncle Stu. yes now i don't know uh talk with tori we said you do a lot of stuff i don't know if you eat jollof rice because this morning moments with diva was cooking that jollof rice do you eat jollof rice She's not no, I haven't. I haven't tried that. I, I wouldn't mind trying it. Yeah. Don't know what you're missing. Don't know what you're missing. Yeah, it's 60s down there where my aunt speaks in Georgia. Georgia. What, what's the weather where you are? I believe it's probably about uh, in that area, like about 68 somewhere, 68 uh -huh. to 70. We, uh, you know, we kind of a little hot down here. <laughs> right well you know we're in the same region as andale you know the one that sent us the stickers and all the nice uh cards nothing and she did not say anything about peppermint thongs but uh just so that you know she uh andale is here and she's excited about sleep science and certified coaching og patrice they all want to hear these things, okay? So all what right. is the first question you want to ask him, Corey? Because you know Raquel is listening from Namibia. But OG oh, Patrice, where is she, Corey? Is she out in the Midwest. AZ, Arizona. Yeah, she's out there. And FR Humphrey, I forget. Humphrey. Humphrey, I think, is in Elizabeth City. No, she's in North Carolina. Elizabeth City. <laughs> I'm not Elizabeth. But she's in North Carolina, too. I, I'm just making up stuff. I can't remember. Just let know where you are, Humphrey. Right. So, you know, I know for you, you are you are a person that just does so many things we've said that right yeah, and we want to jump off because a lot of people came into contact with this passatory but you're much more than passatory you're a certified uh brain fitness coach you're a certified sleep, uh, sleep science coach you also are a great content creator with videography uh, thanks for that uh, ph photography, choreography, topography, uh, historiographies, all the ographies that you can think of. But <laughs> you are a, a, you are great. You have a lot of great talent, a lot of great content. But today we have you here talking about money, marriage, and sleep. Yeah. We want to talk about the importance of brain fitness. What is brain fitness? Because people think about fitness, they think about you know working out. But what is brain fitness? Well, I know he describes it as taking the high road, though. Mm -hmm. Like you know, so tell us that first because that's your acronym, so to speak. And Inya is ready for it. She's saying hello. Big guy Journey is here too. Hey, hey there, BGJ. Big guy Journey. Now. Absolutely. So tell us what taking the high road is because Big Guy Journey uses a lot of acronyms. So does saying the man. Oh yeah, taking the high road is about uh, it, it, it. Really, it's really my backstory. Uh, basically, what happened, I uh, I was all messed up. You know, mm -hmm. even though I was, even though pastoring, you know, uh, preaching and all that good stuff, I was still all messed up uh, health wise because I was eating too much sugar. I had a sweet tooth, mm -hmm. and uh, my big thing was uh, sugar this, sugar that, and uh that messed up my health and another thing was uh was uh the uh the job that i was working i was working uh graveyard uh ships at night mm -hmm. and that would throw off my sleep so i had the i had sugar and also i had the graveyard ships uh mixed in together so i was all messed up and i went to the doctor you know uh one day and they said i was borderline uh had borderline diabetes Oh. And that and that and that woke me up right there, and uh, from there that's when I uh, began to uh, take the high road. And the high road is about health, uh, inspiration, and also empowerment. I began to take my health uh, seriously, especially mm -hmm. when it came down to uh, sleep and brain fitness. Uh, when I took my health uh, seriously, what happened was I got into uh, fitness, the fitness industry, and that's when I became a certified uh, brain fitness uh, coach and also a sleep science coach. And 
it's been good ever since uh then you know and that was the beginning of that road wow so, you know what this is just wonderful uh that you went on and took control of your health because nobody likes a good report a bad report and that's a good report i know big guy journey is one of those people where um He's giving us a super chat chorus saying, what's up, fam? Just stopping in to say hello. Hey, hey, hey. And then he was also saying, <laughs> I didn't know Pastor Tori was a doctor. He's not a doctor, but he got some <laughs> certifications. He's just about there. Now, he got past the Troy. <laughs> <laughs> he right. says past the Troy. <laughs> right, I know, right? Because he had Troy. So you, uh, Big Guy Journey, you were a person who took control of your life in the same way he has a similar story to you where he was like okay i gotta do something different for myself and he really turned his life around he had a skin right. condition as a result of his eating habits and he's just transformed everything and so you're saying for yourself taking the high road really made the difference coach remy fitness hey coach remy all the way in rwanda yes likewise taking he's also taking the high road he's empowering us to do better for ourselves y'all know coach remy is ripped he'll get you ripped too but raquel namolo before we do the giveaway she says i want to know about brain fitness yes. so we're going to do the giveaway and we'll get into brain fitness is there anything uh, a sneak peek into brain fitness that you can give us well, one of the things about uh, brain fitness is uh, the nutrition uh, part. Like I said, for us, um, you know, with nuts and everything like that. I know we're going to get more into that uh, later on. Uh, but the the prefrontal uh, cortex of the brain uh, is what we use to plan, think, and make critical uh, decisions yeah. for. And all that, all that stuff is really important when it comes down to uh getting the proper sleep and getting uh the uh, having the proper diet so we're going to talk more about that okay i love it the proper diet so you know proper diet trash can waves are saying big guy journey welcome back and then you talk about food and now david hunt trying to get g mama grows on board with those sugar in the grits Look. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's like blasphemous in the land of grits. To put sugar in grits? No way. You right. Put gravy <laughs> and onions in grits. You treat grits like rice almost. Yeah, and we're going to ignore G. Albert, too, talking about a nice, wholesome hot mac and cheese with a pound of sugar. Yummy. <laughs> pound of sugar. Yeah. G. Albert, I mean, that's it. That's why, he's, that's why he Alcatraz right now. He, go, he goes from Alcatraz to Rikers every week. He in timeout. Well, right. He's in timeout. So we're going to do the giveaway because we have all our Namibians here. We got Raquel Namolo. We got Sizzle's Diary. Hey, Sizzle. Hey, Sizzle's. So that means how are we going to do this, Corey, for the giveaway? I'm going to make the horse race announcement, uh, talk with Tori. And when I say bring, I mean that gig sound bring, you're going to say, uh, let's see, lay hands on the button, Quita. Lay hand on the button, Quita. He got to say all of that? Yep. Oh, 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 because I'm laying hands on the button. Right. Okay. All right. So ready? <laughs> we're ready. Everybody has hashtag the home team in there. So let's go for it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another blind guy, his wife, their life live. First place, Pony Derby. It's time to see who's going to get bragging rights for being in the comments early. All the jockeys are mounted and in position behind the gates and bring. Lay hands on the b button, Quita. They're off. <laughs> All right, Coach Jeremy Fitness, just the way Andy Holmes said, she stole my thunder. My Renaissance grandma, F.R. Humphrey, my Renaissance grandma, Gail at night, before the billion, Jen Moreno. Hey, Jen Moreno, three. Hey. Just the way, hey, hey, she stole my thunder. What? Yes. Oh, hey, hey, she stole my thunder. I miss Jenny Moreno. I saw her earlier and I was just talking like I had spoken to her and everything. Hey, Jenny, thunder took it. She has stolen the win. She stole, stole the thunder. <laughs> so, uh, you know what you got to do, talk with Tori. You have to definitely congratulate. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna ignore them. Mm -hmm. uh, big guy journey, mac and cheese with sugar. No, mm -hmm. they always try to be funny in here. Uh, and Dale says, Laquita, y'all might be from North Carolina today because there's so many North Carolinians in here. All right, true, true, true. <laughs> well, I'm always, I'm always claiming North Carolina. That's my second home to me, North Carolina. Right. So okay, Sizzle's Diaries got in there, but she didn't win. So, can you congratulate the winner who is She Stole My Thunder for today? Congratulations, She Stole My Thunder. 
right. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much because G Mama grows cars, cars. Everybody's congratulating her and Dale and now, Homestead. And now a word from Wally and or David Hunt. In your Kamea, FR Humphrey. Uh oh, Wally, yep. Rig, 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 rig. <laughs> You know what? Thank you, Susan, for being a lady. She's from Namibia. They are fighters, but they are also winners and they're polite. And when I say they're fighters, they will stand up for what they want, what they need, but you know, they're good people. Did you, let me ask you this, talk with Tori. Did you see David Hunt's name? Because even though I didn't get a chance to say every name that scrolled, did you happen to see it? Say yes, say yes. <laughs> I can't recall. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. That's how you get did, out of it. Did you say say yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Well, we're gonna put send you back to the green room so we can give you a proper introduction because she stole my thunder. Is excited. She says, "Yeah, congratulations to me." I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't pay off Laquita. I mean, thanks. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so <laughs> wonderful winning for today. Uh, Ma'at Speaks, Tasha Oshi Grows, everybody is coming in with good news. And while he's trying to side up with G. Albert saying, I tell you, the rig was coming. Mm. <sighs> ah, no, David Hunt, that's not right, Wally. Talking about there's so much rigging, it might as, might as well be an oil rig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she saw my thunder slid in there. What? Big Guy Journey is back talking trash. Yep, it's still rigged. <laughs> what? No, not Big Guy Journey. <laughs> Well, we're going to give you a proper introduction because Gail at Night is definitely shouting you out, reminding everybody to subscribe because you've got a YouTube channel, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, giving us all the goodness in all the places. So, so talk with Tori, we're going to put you back in the virtual green room so we can give you a fancy introduction. So get back to those computerized cashews and the virtual veggie dip. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See you All soon. Right. There she is, Jenna Marina, six to nine thirteen. I couldn't remember the number without without uh, seeing it, but yes, thank you for being here, Jenny. All right, so everybody's ready for the introduction, Corey. They're excited for She Stole My Thunder, Big Guy Journey, Crypto Lee. They're all excited. How do we get this going? Hey, guys, if you're just joining us, this is another episode of A Blind Guy. His wife. Their life live. Well, we help you to change your narrative, what you think it means to be normal when it comes to your health. Your business. And your wealth. We're here every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, yeah? 11.15 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. Introducing you to fabulous guests such as the one we have today. Now. We all know lots of things about St. Louis. Music, mm -hmm. barbecue, used to be the Rams. Sometimes it was the Cardinals. What you mean they changed the teams? Yes, they got St. Louis Rams, now the LA Rams, the St. Louis Cardinals, now the Arizona Cardinals. Dang. But there's other things like today, there's other things that people are known for, like today's special guest. Now, if you thought that Nelly was the leader of the St. Lunatics, Today's guest is straight up insane when it comes to his abilities as a certified coach, fit, brain fitness coach, and sleep science coach. He is absolutely crazy when it comes to his content creation, his videography, his audit, his, his graphic design, all of his other talents that come together to blend as one fabulous person. This man is more insane. He's more of a saint lunatic than the Joker, Two-Face, the Riddler, Killer Croc, and all those DC villains combined. This man is crazy in a good way because he has combined all his passions into a profitable business. Hey. It's time for today's featured guest. He's the lead saint lunatic himself. <laughs> From all the way from Texas, by way of St. Louis, Missouri, is Talk with Tori. Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We up in her. We up in her. <laughs> we up, up in her. her. Up in her. Up in her. You don't care. He's just up in her. We don't care. We just up in her. <laughs> well, you know what? We are all up in here. We got facts and the un uncomfortable truth with Bernard S. Hey, Bernard S. in the house. Absolutely. G Mama Grows is ready to hear from you. And of course, uh, G Albert says, and today we have a special program. We have a pastor that is not going to keep you long. See you at 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great. Linda Smith is laughing. Cars Car is laughing. 
Uh, now, here's the thing. We originally, we met you as Pastor Tori, but then we found out you're so dynamic. You do all these different things. So you are talk with Tori, but you're also a sleep scientist and a brain fitness coach. Uh, coach. Right. So, so people have already asked, we want to know, now, brain fitness doesn't mean you're sitting there like thinking really hard or you're like, you got dumbbells that you stick in your ear or you go up, down, up, down. What, what is brain fitness? Well, brain fitness is really uh, the rejuvenation of the brain, you know, learning about the brain and uh, and taking uh, care of your brain for us when it comes down to the maintenance. And you do that by, uh, like I said earlier, nutrition. And also we have another uh, part of the brain that we uh, call neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity. And what that is, that's the rewiring of the brain and you have to learn new things and that's that's how your brain begins to be uh rewired by learning new things uh exercising your brain through like crossword puzzles keeping your brain energized uh the more you do that uh when it comes down to alzheimer's uh memory loss and things like that you will prevent those different things from happening by taking care of your brain. I love it. You know, Sizzle's Diary says, wow, fantastic brain fitness. I want to learn more. This is good because uh, <laughs> as far as your channel is concerned, and I'm laughing at David Hunt because he's in there. <laughs> I like David Hunt, well, he's talking about this is an Atum Pan comment, just to keep it fair. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing at him. You know, Atum Pan is a nonprofit. Why is he over there? <laughs> and Bill, Philip Waldo Jr. is saying, Tory gave the Bill Clinton answer, right? He, and I think he's talking about from earlier when I asked you. I don't recall. Yes, did you see David Hunt? <laughs> I don't recall. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I do enjoy about what you're saying is that when you're on your live streams, you record, you can pre-record your videos because you are a videographer, you have those talents. But this particular video right here was on how to improve your sleep health. So this is where, as a graphic designer, you know, you do all of your own graphics, you bring in all the good stuff, and you also provide visuals for us so that we have the slideshow to help us move along so that if we have any questions, we can ask them during your live streams, but also, you have it right there on the screen to kind of help us out, right? Right, right. Now, exactly. Sleep science goes hand in hand with the other thing. I know you said you mentioned it's important that we have we mentally exercise. You know, keep our brains engaged with uh, crossword puzzles, reading, learning new material, learning a new skill. And especially in this day and time, where we're a lot of people spend a lot of time sitting in front of computers mm -hmm. or sitting, you know, or, or, you know, being mentally. I dope down basically because the information is just point click point click. But he says that sleep is your body's nurse. nurse right. Explain so that to us. It goes hand in hand with the brain fitness. Right. Sleep. What sleep does, and like I said, sleep is the body. It's not only just the brain's nurse, but it's the body's nurse because mm -hmm. uh, it consolidates uh, memories. Uh, it learns it, while you're sleeping. You're learning uh, the emotions, uh, the emotion process. Uh, physical recovery occurs when you sleep, your blood sugar levels and your metabolism uh, balances out and your uh, immune system is also being uh, energized and your brain is uh, detoxifying. Your brain is actually being cleansed while you sleep. And uh, that's why it's important uh, uh, to get uh, proper uh, sleep. And like I said, uh, the sleep is a nurse and you want that nurse to work uh eight hour shift. You want that nurse <laughs> not part time. To, uh not be a part-time nurse, but uh at least seven to eight hours because with sleep there's a cycle and you, okay. you want that cycle and every 90 minutes there's a, a cycle of uh four. There's light sleep to uh deep sleep, and then you have what we call REM sleep, R E M, rapid mm -hmm. eye. Not, movement. R, not R I M. Right. That's right. Uh, R-E-M. <laughs> I'm going to confuse movement. the people right now because I pulled up the segment of your live stream where you were showing this right on the screen for us. So, Corey, we got him in the corner talking. 
him also in the corner talking to us live right now because you know the video. <laughs> so, so this is great. Finish telling. Yeah, that's us a good slide right life. there because that talks about the the whole uh, process of the mm. sleep cycle and how um, and that during the REM uh, sleep, the rapid eye movement uh, part of the sleep, which is pretty much the fourth uh, stage. The, uh, the body is paralyzed and the brain uh, remains most active. Now, mm. infants and young children, children are, uh, they spend most time in that uh, type of sleep. And that right. type of sleep is really important because uh, that's when we uh, have like vivid dreams and, and, and different things happen uh, uh, in our dreams and uh, everything looks uh, so real. But the, the REM sleep is not only for uh, just dreams. It's basically when we say we have to sleep on it, uh, uh, we have a different decision to make or, or whatever, and we say, I'll sleep on it. What happens is when you go through that REM sleep or whatever, uh, your your brain is going through like a processing. It's, process, it's processing all that information uh, while you sleep. And then when you wake up, if you get the proper uh, amount of hours in your sleep, like I said, seven to eight hours, you'll be able to uh, make clear decisions, uh, make clear uh, choices and do mm -hmm. uh, do pretty much wonderful things. And that's why I always stress about that sleep being the nurse of the body as well as the brain. Nice. Right. You know, Zan the man said, sleep is my night nurse. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that copyright. I uh, know. And we do have Garden to Table with Heather Lynn listening in. Uh, she's saying hello. We also have Wally reminding you guys of what uh, he said. You forgot to mention. I mean, you forgot he also delivers a sermon uh, of honest as he asked you to bless the like button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for those of you who have not Wally in the house, <laughs> right? Make sure you do that. The other thing I wanted to bring up is XDMC had a couple of questions for you. X DMC. Yes, XDMC had a couple of questions, but Big Guy Journey mentioned something that I know we're going to get to later, which is eating healthy fats, because I know you were talking about nuts. So before we get into our plant-based treat, we'll get into those healthy fats. Uh, question from XDMC. What oils are you using in your mist maker in the background that helps with brain fitness? That dude... I always <laughs> notice the back. I think actually is the CIA because he looks at the background. He's like, "Yeah, I see you got that serial number Z one two three Z on your television. Does that mean you just got that yesterday at exactly. Walmart on sale for two dollars and eight nine cents?" Look, and right. We, we also have cooking with Dorsha. So she loved this because you know she's a cook, she's a wife, she's a mom, and she's always creating a certain atmosphere. So hey, she wants to know too what kind, of, what's what oils are in that mister. Well, oh. Uh, one of the oils, especially uh, during night, during the nighttime, uh, what I do when I'm winding down, when I'm in the process of winding down uh, two hours before sleep is uh, magnesium. You want to have magnesium, you know, uh, magnesium oil. And it's good to it's good basically to also spread on your on your skin. Because remember, oh. I, to I told you that we have photo uh, receptors on our skin. And our skin takes in, uh, uh, it takes in the, the different oils faster than, you know, uh, anything else. So magnesium is real good for promoting that, uh, that melatonin to be produced because melatonin is the, the sleep hormone that mm -hmm. we have inside of us. And that promotes healthy sleep that promotes that, that sleep or whatever. Yeah. Be so that, go ahead, Corey, because I was going to say with you, <laughs> go ahead, Corey. Yeah, yeah, no, I was no, going to say with you, you know, you can't see, but the melatonin, go ahead. Is that what you were going yeah, to refer to? Yeah, I was going to refer to that because, you know, in this day and time, you know, when, you know, you know we know what the environment is, the social environment has been, when people are staying inside more, no matter what the weather is like, it'd be interesting to see just how people's sleep patterns have changed over this time and how this resulted in different um, mental behaviors. But I know what uh, I can't see. So I, my, the photoreceptors to me are big and um, big as far as receiving the light information. Right. From the skin. But it also goes to those parents out there that have those, have those restless children that are hard to get to go to bed. 
parents will always say, go outside and play so you can get tired. Mm -hmm. But it's not the physical activity, it's the exposure to the light that's actually helping them to build up melatonin later on. So when it's time for you to go to sleep, they'll settle down. Can you explain that process a little bit more with the cortisol? Right. Cortisol is a and cortisol gets a bad reputation. Cortisol is a hormone that's in our body. And it gets a bad reputation because it's uh, often called the stress hormone. And it is used uh, during stress. It is a stress hormone. But what it does, uh, too, it it uh, produces uh, the melatonin at night. It produces melatonin. It turns into melatonin at night. Uh -huh. The more cortisol, the more cortisol you have during the daytime. And cortisol is used when you work out. That hormone is being produced as you do exercise as you are are active uh as you are uh exposed to uh sunlight that's when that cortisol is uh at its uh at, at its full pace and you want that you want that you you want your cortisol levels to be at a normal uh level now another thing about the cortisol too is what you what we talked about what you talked about yesterday was like stress and you don't want uh too much you don't want too much stress <laughs> good stress good stress good stress is motivation to 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 go to do the right thing good stress is working out when you are active and everything like that that's the good stress but when that cortisol levels are too high that that can affect your sleep because stress does affect your sleep so you want you 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 want to keep everything balanced uh with the sun you want exposure to the sun and also you want to be active during the daytime and then at night because your body cools down your body cools down uh at a certain time at night like two hours before you go to sleep your body cools down your your body temperature uh cools down and also you want to have your temperature in your house at a certain uh like at least 60 well i would say 66 uh 67 because you want to match it with your body temperature mm. and that's how you get good sleep as well by doing that and, mm. and 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 remember your body is also a reflection of you know of the environment you know the, the, so, the sun and also even with the moon i got a question well, for you psa this is not to substitute for any <laughs> professional medical advice it's <laughs> right questions about sleep sleep and, and cortisol and all the other hormones and body the, the hormone levels in your body please consult the advice of a, a your own personal physician. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. So here's the thing. Mo Moments with Diva is on a learning spree today, she says. And G Mama grows as well as Tasha grow gr oh she grows because you know they're always working together. And how do I always get back to back comments? That's what I figured mm -hmm. out. I'm telling you, they're working Isn't together. Holding hands at the computer. <laughs> so they're saying that's interesting. I've, you <laughs> I've never heard of a magnesium essential oil, so we know that's something that people can look into. However, yeah. We are getting down to the last few minutes of our broadcast. We're already up on the next hour, on the top of the hour. So we wow. want to hear a little bit. I know we want to hear a little bit about you as a certified coach and content creator, mainly the content creator part, because we're hearing about the coaching. So we want to hear about those services. But, you know, we have to get our final hashtag in there. You know, why they didn't already put in the tour. Oh, okay, because you know, while it's my hashtag, bless the like button, hashtag Laquita with the fix, because <laughs> I'm gonna rig it up. Hashtag talk, talk with, with Tori. Tori. So, hashtag talk with Tori, guys. And I bring this up because as a content creator, you're an author, you know, you have your own book right there on Amazon. Uh, we can all find it. God never fails, He doesn't make mistakes either. So, we can go right there to Amazon and find it. It's so affordable, right? We can get the Kindle version. We can get, so we can download it, all this good stuff. And then speaking of which, you are not just an author, but when we look at your different spaces, you have a t-shirt business, you got commercial grade heat presses and vinyl cutters. Um, and some of us, we don't have all of that, right? 
You can work Photoshop, you can work Infinity Photo, but you say, if we can't do that yet, we can start with Canva. And you always say, guys, you've written low content books before. So you always say, guys, if you cannot uh, start at the professional level, start at the flea market, right? Tell us about your experience while everybody puts in hashtag talk with Tori. Tell us about your experience at the flea market, what kind of services you were selling. um, So that way people can understand that when they go and look at the type of videography and photography that you've done, you had practice doing those things. Go ahead. That's right. Yeah, and that's where the practice uh, all begun, you know, was in the flea market. You know, I had um, I had these different uh, passions on uh, when it came down to photography and uh, uh, video video videography and all that Mm -hmm. good stuff. Uh, I wanted to put those put those passions in uh, to in a a certain uh, place. But I couldn't afford a building, couldn't afford this and that and the other. But that's not an excuse. What I did was I went to uh, the flea market rented out a booth start uh uh, doing the photography uh start selling my services uh when it came down to uh doing videos and also uh doing a lot of graphic uh design and that's why i tell people uh today uh utilize the tools utilize Mm -hmm. uh and it sounds strange but utilize your brain you know your (laughs) brain (laughs) your brain uh, when it when it comes down to uh like I said, that prefrontal uh, cortex, the, uh, the the beginning of your brain, uh, that's where all the logic, that's where all the creativity uh, is at. And that's how you'll be able to, uh, um, you know, create stuff and, and make the right de- uh, decisions and do the right things. But you got to do it first. You got to do it. And, and, so when you say we when you say we got to do it first in other words we can get the information we can do our research go to youtube university i know you said you have gone there to learn a lot of things but then you also put it into action so like the video that we were showing just now you use this for your church you created this you did the voiceover you didn't wait for somebody to say Hey, I got a job for you. You said, "Look, I know how to work a camera. I got a cute kid that can that can model. Uh, I can do all the graphics." And so, when we look at all of your branding on your Facebook page, on your Instagram page, that's all you doing it. So, what you're saying is, you got to do it. As you got to do it, you got to do it action. because because the dopamine, uh, which is a hormone in the body, dopamine is a hormone in the body and in, in the body, <laughs> and what it does is it it's it's called the pleasure hormone but also it's an excitement hormone mm. and a lot of times uh we get the idea and we get excited and we use all that all that all that time and all that hormone uh just by thinking of the idea mm. but what you have to do is you have to reverse that you have to uh do it just do it go out there and uh have the idea it, it starts with an idea but also uh make that step of doing it and when you do it you might make mistakes you mm-hmm. might uh but in even in mistakes you'll learn and and it's a process and also you'll learn more about yourself you'll learn that you know uh different skills that you didn't know that you even had like so wow. these skills that you're talking about and these skills that i have I didn't even know I had them <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I didn't even know I had them, but I started by doing. I started right. by doing. You know, speaking of doing, I remember I was like, hey, you should do a buy me a coffee. And look, boom, you got to buy me a coffee page, right? You <laughs> just said, let's just do it, right? You got your branding together. And I know that you also, because you're like, I got a computer. All I have to do is go do it. I know that you said with voiceover work, we can go to Amazon. They have services. So if we don't already have a place to, you know, get in something, we have we have that opportunity, right? Right, right. Amazon, they have services. And there's different others that's uh on the internet, but I I, I know uh Amazon is the is uh pretty much the go to uh for me. Uh and there's plenty of opportunities. Whatever you need, it's out there. And we are in an information age, and mm-hmm. it's very important to take take 
you know, take advantage of the information that is given. Awesome. Well, you know what? This brings us to our final giveaway because you're an amazing content creator. You're doing it on all the platforms. Whoever wins, they get a shout out in your next live stream, right? That's right. They get a shout out in my next live stream. All right. So let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. You want good sleep? Just get busy late nights. <laughs> you know what, Wally? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to blame that on XDLC. Sorry, XDLC. <laughs> no, Philip Walter Jr. and they're acting up too, talking about uh, you need that good sleep after you stir it like coffee for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and G Mama Grows is laughing at Philip. I told y'all, look. G Mama Grows is so fun. So thank you, Gail at Night, for putting that link to the book in the description. In, excuse me, in the chat, guys. All of these links are all in the description already. So thank you for always dropping those links into the chat. It makes it easier for the replay. You can just click the link. All right, Corey, how are we doing it this time? I'm going to say three, two, one, and then talk with Tori is just going to say, come talk with Tori. Oh, okay. Because he has consultation services yes, too. He does have coaching and consultation services. Wow, let's do it. Three, two, one. Come talk with Tori. Hey, all right. We got Wally, big guy, Journey, uh, Cassandra, FR. Come talk with Tori. <laughs> FR, Gail at Night, Cars, Car, Cassandra, Dominic, Gail at Night, Wally, and Dale Homestead. Gail at Night, you mama grows. Cars, Car! Hey! <laughs> Congratulations, Cars Car, you get a shout out. Cars Car is amazing. Always yes. commenting, always hanging out in these YouTube streets. We appreciate you, Cars Car. Man, so make sure you give Cars Car a next a shout out. I in will. One of your next video. Congratulations, nice, nice, Cars nice. Car. I will give you a shout yeah. out. All right. Thank you. And look, Cars Car says, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious, uh, definitely. He's in gratitude to you, Pastor Tori. Everybody saying congrats to Cars Car. But you know yeah. what time it is? Talk with Tori. It's time to ask you the question of the day: How many fruits, vegetables, or whole grains have you eaten today? Yes, because well, you know we got to ask this question because Jenny Morena she mentioned your gut being uh, like sleep is important especially for your second immune system, your gut. And of yes, course, Big right. Guy Journey, he said eating healthy fats too. So tell us what you've had. This is what we want to hear. Beet juice, beetroot juice is good for you, especially, and some people don't like the taste. You can always mix it up uh, in your smoothie or in your juicing. Uh, beetroot is good because it, it it helps the blood flow. It helps your blood flow to the mm. brain and also helps the blood flow uh, in your body. And uh, it 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 just it's just all the way good. And it pretty much changed my life by drinking uh, uh, beetroot juice. It's, nice, it's real good. Beets are good. Beets. Are okay. Good. So you know what? I'm gonna have to look up the nutrient nutrients, Corey, because I'm always interested in like. What's the nutritional value? What's it giving us? What vitamins, what minerals, um, what life-saving techniques, right? So thank you for that. That's so you, you always talking about eating more nuts and we have nuts that are included in this uh, this <laughs> recipe for the uh, plant-based treat. But it, we were talking earlier about how cashews and, and how uh, walnuts and pecans or pecans, depending on where you're coming from, they kind of look like the brain. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, because it's actually, uh, food for the brain um and, and it's and it pretty much uh promotes uh brain health and also what they call neurogenesis it mm. uh, creates uh new, new uh, neurons in your brain so and, and it also pro promotes a uh, neuroplasticity also so nuts so when you real say good. neuro let me just break this down and make sure i got it right when you say neurogenesis so creating those new pathways in your brain you know sort of like you can teach an old dog new tricks right is making those things fire and happen and then what was the second one you said well, neuroplasticity but oh, go ahead now neuroplasticity is actually uh the pathways it's the rewiring of the brain mm. now neurogenesis is actually prom it actually promotes uh uh producing new uh neurons in your brain right. so even better you want you want uh those two to be operating like when you learn something new uh, you're going through neuroplasticity. Your brain mm -hmm. is being rewired. And uh, that's why 
uh, the whole thing of uh, having different talents and learning different things and doing crossword puzzles and doing like some of the simplest things, learning how to play an instrument, you know, mm. different things like that. It promotes brain health and it keeps your brain active and you want to keep your brain uh, active. So as you get older, you won't uh, uh, suffer uh, memory loss, Alzheimer's and different other things as well. So you want to keep that brain uh, active and healthy. Wonderful. Well, you know, we're going to get into our plant-based treat because we got African queen Giselle one here. Yay. Hey there. She says, I'm late, but I made it. Nope. You're just in time because like G mama grows is saying new super juice on deck beet juice. So why, why is in your, uh, in your, what do you know about me? She says Sudoku. I love Sudoku. Mm. That's a good brain fitness game. Yes. So do you know, do you play Sudoku? Do you recommend it to anybody? What's your recommendation or information on Sudoku or Sudoku, however you say it? Well, a lot of the games that have a lot to do with the uh, just problem solving, have a lot to do with the uh, with the brain are, are good, you know, because as long as the brain is being active, uh, that's, that's a powerful thing. And you want that neuroplasticity to, uh, to be uh, promoted when it comes down to the brain. So a lot of them, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna get into our plant-based treat because Lash's Journey is here from Florida. She wants to hear this and Inya Kanea is like, yep, all the time, Sudoku. Cars Car is saying rewiring. I had to incorporate a new breaker box after double, <laughs> after double stroking. Good yeah. grief, so you know, right? <laughs> rewiring can happen. Yeah. And by- you know, Raquel is over there in Namibia, but she's like, I play Sudoku. That's her jam as well. So look, G Mama Grows used to play used to play that game as well. So this is good. G Mama Grows sitting at the spade table right now. That's what she's doing. <laughs> spade telling his table, and then she's yelling domino lately. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sudoku is a doozy, but it is fun. You're right. And yep, is it true about eating blueberries? Great for the brain for all yes. those antioxidants. Yes, Absolutely. blueberries are good. Blueberries are good. Good and uh, antioxidants in the brain. All that bl- blueberries it uh, promote uh, brain health. And so, lion's mush, lion's mane mushrooms for the brain. Vanita sixteen, one of our sponsors, is saying. That's right. Mushrooms are are fantastic, especially main uh, lion's mane yep. uh, mushrooms. They're uh, fantastic for the brain. All that promotes uh, brain health. And uh, yeah, they they're right on the money. Hey. And once again, this is not to substitute for medical advice. If you want right. medical advice on proper sleep and nutrition for your brain to prevent Alzheimer's <laughs> and other uh, chronic diseases, please consult your own personal physician. Yes. That's so this, right. This has been amazing today because Wally is saying, indeed, blueberries are great. African queen one, Giselle, she's also a gardener. She's in Florida. She's growing so many things. So you're right at home. I forgot to yourself, Mabel. Yes, you, Lash's Journey, you all are growing things down there. But of course, we got Andale Homestead, G Mama Grows, F.R. Humphrey. Uh, F.R. Humphrey was just showing all the seeds that she um, just got. So these folks are doing their thing, right? And this is all wonderful for brain health. So we do right. appreciate it. We're going to head on out and put you in the green room. What's he going to enjoy? He's going to go back to eating his, his, his computerized cashews, <laughs> but he's also going to take a little communion and get some virtual vino to go along with it. <laughs> but hang out in the virtual green room for us, and we'll talk to you as soon as we end this broadcast. Yes. All See right. you soon, all right? See you soon. All right, Corey Just DeWitt is taking notes for the Lion's Mane Mushroom, and we have another gardener in the chat, uh, the everyday life of an ocd chick. <laughs> yes, hey, Nikki. For those of y'all don't get it. Oh, and Dale loves Sudoku, too. Octish is how my uh, computer reads her name. It says Octish. <laughs> right, So, because you know Corey can't see. His computer talks, and look, it says whatever it reads. But yes, everybody's doing their thing. And Dale is saying hello. So, uh, Nikki, you are just in time for our plant-based treat. Man, Inya, Kanea, we are twins. I always start with the hard level and then I work my way down. But yes, I play on the hard level of Sudoku too. All right, Corey, give us the intro because we got lots of nuts and brain food in this one. And now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Love de Marie. All right, guys, always getting you to eat more fruits and vegetables at every single meal. Magical milkshakes. This is the way to make a shake that you don't have to thicken with bananas or ice. Those things are optional. 
The main ingredients are plant-based milk, fonio, ground ginger, ground nutmeg, and the flexible ingredients are bananas, sugar, plant-based yogurt, nuts, ground cardamom, and ground cinnamon. The main thickener that we're using here is food. It's actually fonio. Fonio is an ancient grain, great source of protein and fiber, and often recommended for people with celiac disease, diabetes, and gluten sensitivities. All right, we'll get started with the fonio. You can order fonio at keenpia.com. Adding some of the spices, I've got some ground ginger. Ginger is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antiviral. It helps break up and expel gas. It's a popular home remedy for nausea and stomach pain. Maybe like a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg helps the quality of sleep and helps you stay asleep. It's a rich source of antioxidants which help protect against signs of aging, cancer, heart disease, and liver disease. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of the cardamom. Cardamom is an antimicrobial that helps with metabolic syndrome and diabetes, heart and oral health, and liver health. You can add cinnamon. I'll put a half teaspoon of cinnamon in. Cinnamon! I'm going to make two blends, one with bananas, one without. Add two bananas, it's optional. If you don't have allergies, definitely add the nuts. Harvard recently did a study suggesting that eating too few nuts and seeds is associated with increased risk of dying from heart disease or diabetes. I'm going to add some plant-based milk. I'm using almond milk. Blend and serve. Add sugar to taste or not. The green one was the banana one, so it yeah. was more sweet. I like that. But one. the blue one did not have the banana, and it tastes more like eggnog because you can taste the spices. Eggnog is like super good, and the blue one tastes like a lot like eggnog because you can taste the spices. I like bananas, and of course, I like pecans and walnuts, so it really just like was really good. All right, Corey, what you um, what you doing over there, Corey? Stretching, all that good stuff. Make sure my deodorant works. Guys, let me no, tell I'm you stretch, something. Yeah, that was stretching the chiropractor, Dr. <laughs> Christopher H. yesterday. <laughs> yes, because you know we talk about it. Deodorant is not absolutely necessary or as important uh, because on the plant based treat we have noticed. <laughs> Lifestyle. On a plant-based lifestyle, yes, we have noticed a huge decrease in body odor. Like it's almost like you can skip showers, but don't do that, guys. Don't do that. We ain't funky no more, y'all. <laughs> you know what? I won't funk it before. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany Q to you. Don't worry about being a lurker. We got lots of lurkers and hey, listeners. <laughs> and so, anyways, Corey, we are going to say goodbye to you after we show why. All of these things are good for your body. We are over time. Should I show it? Yeah, go on, Wally. Get your popcorn ready. You know what, guys? All we're saying is that eating your fruits and vegetables, like um, the everyday life of an octish, uh, an OCD ish <laughs> chick, all we're saying is if you live like her, you can, you know, do like me. You can drop it. So we are saying goodbye she, to you all. She did the worm, right? Worm, 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 worm. You know what? She says that she can still do the worm. Yeah. So I'm etal. I'm vegan. I'm plant based, which means I got knees like this on my birthday, y'all. This was just a few weeks ago, almost a month now. Oh, okay, Miss. Hey, see, there's the worm. Me and everyday life of an OCD chick can still do that. Uh, Mr. Tamaya 89 says, I like eating fruit too. That's what I'm talking about. And you know, Octish, she always has so many colors in her um, in her foods. So African Queen One Giselle has tried all kinds of deodorant that's plant-based, finally found one. Yes, we found a good one. We really like Perfectly Frank as a plant-based deodorant. Not that we wanted a plant-based, we just wanted one without all the minerals mm. of the ones on the shelf. So Healthy G Mom, thank you, thank you. Hey, healthy G Mom. Good to be here. And El Inya Kanea says, I love this channel. This was so helpful. All right, Inya Kanea, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Yes, so you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. We're going to say goodbye by saying what, Corey? We're going to say goodbye. Hey, Healthy G Mom and give us, give us a super sticker. Wow. Hey, thank you, Healthy G Mom. Thank you. Don't worry, African Queen just one to sell. You can get up. Uh, she's talking about, oh, wow, she has moves. Oh, Lord, if I do that, you all will have to help a sister up. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can get up. You just get up slowly. <laughs> well, don't forget to join us tomorrow for our YouTube. This game show Friday. Oh. YouTube Yellow Pages. We're going to be looking at some of our favorite content creators. Kirk, the regular new gent. Yes. We're going to be looking at uh ancestral wishes and the no tribe collective tribe collective mm -hmm. and and the lonious cook the <laughs> farmer so we're gonna be looking at their content and saw and seeing how they align with health business and wealth on absolutely YouTube, youtube yellow pages and we're gonna say goodbye since talk with Tories, you know everybody has known him as a pastor let's say this <laughs> 
May grace, mercy, and truth abide with us here soft and forevermore. Let the church say, deuces, yeah. <laughs> Start with a bang, end with a bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> that was David Hunt saying mm -hmm. that. <laughs> deuces, guys. <laughs> Deuces, yeah.